Hello dear friends, a couple of days back a student came to me to seek my advice regarding how to effectively use the next 60 days for the prelims examination 2019. Now when I saw this student, this student was so much overwhelmed by fear. I asked the number of attempts which he has already given. He said he was in the third attempt and he has missed his first two attempts. But the fear was too much. He was too much engulfed by fear. When he is answering my questions, I could see that his voice is choking. His hands started shivering and he is not able to look at my eyes and speak. This is a problem with almost many of the UPSC aspirants. It's not just a question of first attempt, second attempt or third attempt. It is a question of how students will have to manage their emotional state in the next 60 days. I will ask you this question. You please answer me. Do you really think that fear is a qualification for success in civil services examination or it is a disqualification for success in prelims examination? Yes. You are right. Fear is not a qualification, rather it is a disqualification. Now, what is the qualification for succeeding in this examination? The qualification is proper preparation, proper practice and a very, very positive attitude filled with so much of enthusiasm, energy and I can do attitude. So, this is what is the qualification for examination. Fear is not the qualification for this examination. Therefore, you don't fear at all. Be cool. Fear is a negative emotion. Fear builds on fear. And after some time point, we will be too much fearing that because of the fear, we collapse, we crumble down. Some students have also done this. That when they went to the examination center, when they were given the question paper because of the fear, they were completely unable to handle the situation in the examination condition and therefore they could not succeed in this examination. So, fear will have to be avoided at any cost and fear will build fear and that will result in depression as well. So, try to be cool. My dear friends, definitely when we are in the process of preparing for a bigger examination like civil services examination, some issues will come which will try to bother us, right? So, I just remember an incident. I was just walking in a park. I found that some birds started flying over my head. It just it crossed over my head. So, I just think that can I stop the bird flying over my head? I can't stop because I do not have control over the bird which is flying. But definitely, I can have a control over this thing that I can definitely prevent the bird from standing on my head, building a nest, trying to live in that nest on my head and start laying eggs. This I can prevent or not. So, the point which I am trying to tell you is problems will come, just it will fly over your head, it will go. Don't try to put that problem on your head and don't try to help the problem stand on your head, go into your head, build a nest and start staying in your head for all times to come because this is a very dangerous thing which you never ever will have to do. All the very best. Thank you.